Three, two, one. All right, one. take a little bit quick walk around. This is a 250 gallon oil tank. Gonna go ahead and turn it into a pig roaster. So this is your before walk around. I'll give you a few here and there, but this is part one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sand it all before I cut it. And then uh, go from there, take the legs off and so forth. But here goes nothing guys, thanks. Well, we are got the first part of grinding off the top junk done. Got the legs off. Gonna go ahead and uh, cut the leg brackets off shortly. Run the lines for the uh, cut for the lid. And then uh, burn out the top and the bottom so that it's clean. And then uh, go from that perspective on here. I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Stay tuned. Here you go, buddy, a little action for you. been out here for a little bit now taking care of this but you can see got quite a bit done on the grinding part getting all that paint off gonna go ahead and finish cutting the line for the hinges where the back hinges are gonna go see how that works out so bear with me for a little bit I'm not gonna do the whole entire cut on camera so we won't waste the film but just to give you an idea <laughs> Insert your hinges with your self-tapping lugs if you want, but I'm actually going to do a screw system. I'm going to bolt it from the inside, so I'm actually going to take the whole thing off, top lid, bottom base, and burn it out so you get all the residue out. And then I'll set it back down once I get my lines on. Um, use angle iron for rest along the sides. Set that back on, then I'll bolt the, bolt the hinge system in. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting it out, and I'll, I'll get back to you after I get the top and bottom off. Thanks. Take the gloves off first. Just like we cut along the edge here for the hinge system, we still got to go along and cut down along the edges so that I can make it an actual lid. Cut it all the way down along the side, across the front end here. I don't know how well you can see if there's a couple mark lines you know uh, trying to decide where I wanted it decided to take it down a little bit lower so that I can have a, a dual rack inside if I choose to one for you know chicken one for roast whatever it may be not just a hog smoker trying to make it multi-purpose um, cut it down all the way along the edge here and then back up connecting it to the hinge system so we'll go ahead and do that and then uh, I guess I'll get back to you once everything's off all right all right well I uh, decided to go ahead and 
cuts rest of that off like I had mentioned to you. Got it cut here, hinged off. What we got to do next is go ahead and sweep out the inside again and then go ahead and burn it out. Get any residue that may be left in there. Looks pretty darn clean because it's an old tank. But uh, the only injury I got was when I took the lid off. A piece of the scrap hanging metal from grinding caught me. But I think I might need to go have my finger amputated and you can start calling me nubby. What do you think? How about that look? Eh, I don't know. We'll keep it for now. But we'll go ahead and get that all done, burn out. We'll get to you while we're burning it. And then we'll regrind the edges, sand them down, make them nice and smooth. Put the angle iron bar on the inside so that the rack for the pig has stuff to set on. Build two troughs, one on each side, so we can do some indirect burn with charcoal. Put a cut hole right down in here so that we put a little lift on this side so that all the grease will, will uh, run down into a trap pan. May clean up a lot easier. This here is going to be obviously the lid. We got the holes for the hinges. And then I'm just going to use the legs, pieces of the legs um, from the actual container. We're going to screw them right into there and I uh, use the legs as the handles. You know, why, why spend money when you don't have to, right? But so far, uh, we're good to go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 